Mm, 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 mm. It's delicious. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is being requested by one of you guys. Thank you, Brittany, so much for requesting this look. It is a rose gold eye with a red lip. I used a few different things today as well for you guys to like change it up a bit. I'm actually like so happy with how it turned out. I did a little flourish on the outer wing area, which I was like, <laughs> I'm super proud of myself for doing because like I had lashes on while I was doing it. It's not easy to do with lashes, so I recommend that step before you put your lashes on. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this look today. If you do like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up before you leave and also subscribe before you leave as well so you guys can join my YouTube a fam. Alright guys, without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Hey guys, so the first thing I did was prime my lids with just a little bit of concealer to neutralize them so that they don't have any like veins or redness poking through any discoloration that we don't want showing through the eyeshadow so it's good just to neutralize them at the very beginning so let's move on with the eyeshadow the palette I'm going to be using today is the Aspen Ovard and Tarte collaboration palette it's got a lot of nice rose goldy like kind of tones and things so I thought it'd be perfect to like recreate this look so if you guys have similar tones feel free to use those you don't have to have the same palette as this so on a fluffy brush, I'm just going to dip into tea time and start placing that through my crease. It's a nice little transition there for all the other rose goldy tones. Damn, that is a nice shade. I haven't used this palette in so long. Ooh, girl. Ooh. And I'm just deepening up the outer corner so when I place the eyeshadow down, I initially place it down here and then blend it through the crease. And then we got a little transition. Next I'm going to take the blush shade from the palette called Meiju Blush and I'm going to place that in my outer corner and socket area. And I'm just using this on a soft definer brush just to like pink it up a little bit just to kind of bring some of those rose gold tones in there so that's more like I said rose goldy look rather than just an average neutral eyeshadow look kind of thing. You can tell already it's going to be quite a dramatic eye look. And I think I'm also going to use another palette. I'm going to tap into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Just because I want to grab this stunning shade called Jax. I really, really, really like that shade. So I'm going to take that on like a petite crease brush. And kind of focus that on the outer corner and through the crease as well. And initially I'm starting off with just a little bit of product. And then I'm going to start building up from there, but I just want to start off with a little bit because they are super pigmented eyeshadows. And if you have too much, it's hard to blend out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's a nice shade. So I'm just packing it on initially, like I said. And then I'll start dragging whatever's left through the outer crease area and then kind of in towards the inner corner. Don't worry too much if you have got some on the lid. I mean, we're just going to carve out the crease anyway, so that's okay. And then going back in with Meiji Blush from the Aspen Ovard palette and just kind of softening the edges of Jax. I find with any dramatic smoky eye, or just any any smoky eye in general really, the most like the best way to get the most blended look, the most seamless kind of smoked out look, is to keep going back and forth between all your shadows that you're using so that it creates like a seamless blend and you can't tell where like one shadow begins and one ends. Just taking a smidge bit of tea time. Just a smidge on the very outer portion of the shadow. So before I continue further with the eyeshadow, I'm just going to carve out my crease like the first uh, half of it. So I'm just going to use like any regular concealer and a concealer brush and just go and whack that through. It really does help to have your eyes open just at this point in time um, because you can see how it's going to look when you do, like I said, have your eyes open. So just take little strokes. It's always helpful to have like a little flat brush that has quite a fine point to it so that you get that kind of precision and control when applying the concealer 
And I'm literally just doing the first half of my eye. And I'm following my natural crease. And I just like to diffuse the edges a little bit with my finger so it's not such a harsh line there. And I just let my natural crease kind of guide the brush around like the natural divot in my socket. So I don't have to worry too much about having a steady hand with that. I just let the um, natural crease guide the brush through. So for the lid area, I think I'm going to mix two colours together to get kind of like a rose goldy tone. Because I don't have like a specific one like that kind of suits this look that I have in my mind basically. So I'm going to take Brilliance from the Aspen Obard palette and mix it in with Sissy from the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'm going to use two shades. So next to deepen up the outer corner and I think the crease as well, I'm going to take Chip from the Jaclyn Hill palette on a pencil brush first of all to deepen up the outer corner, the very outer V area. Then I'm going to switch to a precise shader brush from Zueva and I'm just going to start whacking that just above that cut crease. To define it up a little bit more. Just to kind of hear where that pink ends. And I like it on an upward angle to have a bit more precision with the brush strokes in through that crease. And then I'm taking Jax again and just softening that edge because it is quite harsh. I want that transition to be quite smooth. And softening um, chip up with Jax through that crease area too. I'm literally just drawing a V on the outer edge of my eye sure to angle it up towards the tail of my brow so it connects to the outer corner and angles on that invisible line upwards taking it through the crease and following it through to about two thirds of the way across so it tapers out and even with applying jacks over that chip shade you want to have your brush on a downward, like holding it up on, what would you call this, upward or downward angle? So that the bristles fit into the socket area and just blend upwards. You don't want to blend onto the lid shadow. I'm going back in with some of Meiji blush and softening the edges of Jack's and um, Chip. And a smidge bit of tea time. And then going back in with some of Brilliance and Sissy. And just re-carving out that crease area. Just crispening it. Cr crispening? Crispening it up a bit. Because it did get a little bit lost with the blending process. And it just looks more neater when it's really sharp. Especially right up here. So next I'm going to grab this gorgeous pigment from Napoleon Purtis called Starlight. It is so pretty, it's so pretty. It's a nice rose gold shade. I'm just going to place that on the very like uh, centre-ish of the lid. Just a little wash of it over that rose gold eyeshadows that we used. I'm um, just going to give it a bit more of a pop. is so nice so nice and for my brow bone highlight i think i'm going to dip in to brilliance on my flat shader brush on my precise shader brush sorry from zoeva and just place that on the very high points of the brow just take a bit of tea time and blend out the edges i just think it's so important to blend it out guys because you do all this work blending the rest and if you forget to blend the highlight into the rest of the shades it can look a little bit funny. So I just want it all to tie in. Oh my god I actually love this look so much. Ooh, delicious. Okay I'm going to do a little winged bit liner. I feel like that will just really help tie in this dramatic eye look. So I'm going to go in with my Hyper Sharp Wing Liquid Liner from Maybelline. Oh, that applicator is literally the best thing ever. So I just cleaned up the wing a little bit because I wanted it to be a bit more sharp 
rather than having that shadow sinking underneath here. So I'm just going to apply some lashes and mascara real quick, quick and be right back. So I'm back with the lashes on. I went in with the Sultry Lashes from Attitude. I was contemplating using the Icona Lashes from their Midnight Collection in the style Make Him Miss Me. But I thought I'd always use those lashes so I thought I'd change it up a little bit. I do really like these ones. They're, I'm sure, sorry, they're more extravagant on the outer corner so they complement the cat eye look. For the rest of the eyes, I'm going to place a brown eye coal in my tight line and water line. And I'm going to drag it a little bit under my outer corner bottom lash line. And then I just place some of Chip and Jacks along that eye coal on the bottom lash line, just under the lash line. And then I'm going to smudge that out with a pencil brush and a little bit of Jacks by herself. And then grabbing some of High School Sweetheart from the Aspen Ovard palette, I'm just going to buff out any harsh lines. And then, because I want to be like a little bit extra, I'm going to go in with a glitter liner. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle. I'm taking the glitter side and placing that along the edge of the wing liner. And finally, for my inner corners, I'm going to take Endless Summer Brilliance and the Highlight Pure Soul from the Aspen Ovard palette and place those three shades just on the very inner corner. And then just place on some bottom lash mascara to finish off the eyes. And finally for the lips, I'm going to do a red one like you requested. So I think I might do like a deep brownie red though, like a deep vampy one. So first of all, I'm going to line my lips with my eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. You guys know I love this just because it's super creamy. And it's good just to line my lips so I have a bit of a guide for because I'm doing such a deep lip combo. I don't want to mess up. It's easy to have a lip liner there as like a guide, you know. Next I'm going over top with my Dose of Colours liquid lipstick in the shade Chocolate Wasted. And once I let this like semi dry down, I'm going to mix in my liquid lipstick from Zueva in the shade Matte Chat. And you can leave it with the matte, which actually looks really, really nice. But I think I might make it a bit glossy, just because I feel like a bit extra today. So I'm going to take Woofy from Colourpop. It's a cute little, like, metallic lip gloss. I'm going to place that over top just to gloss it up a little bit, give a bit of a shine, a bit of a sheen to it. And there we go. Oh, my God, that's actually so nice. <sighs> that lip combination. Mm. And this here wraps up today's makeup look. Make sure you leave any like requests or things you'd like to see next down below in the comment section so I can recreate that for you guys. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much, Brittany, for your comments so that I knew what you'd like to see. It's such a nice look. Like I would not have created this without your help, so thank you so much. So I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.